Welcome to Moomoo Maths. Today we're going to talk about the order of operations. Here's our example problem. 3 plus 1 is 4. And 4 squared, bring down my 5. 4 squared is 16. 5 times 16 is 80. Now here's our second example. 6 plus 3 is 9. Bring down 8 divided by 4 is 2 times 3. 81 minus 6 is 75. Okay, there are two example problems. Now let's pan over and go over the rules of the order of operations. You may be familiar with, please excuse my dear Aunt Sally. That is the order of operations. P stands for parentheses, and that is our first step. E is for exponents, and that's the second step. MD, my dear, uh, represents multiplication and division. And these two operations are always from left to right. And the final step is to do the addition and subtraction, again, from left to right. Okay, so now let's go back and do these two example problems in slow-mo and do it step by step. So, the first step on the first problem is to do parentheses. So, we're going to add the 3 plus the 1 to get a 4. And I bring everything else down. So, I bring my 5 down, my multiplication, and my exponent. So, I've done the parentheses. Now, let's do E for exponents. And I do have an exponent in this problem. So, I'm going to raised 4 to the second power, and that's 4 times 4, which is 16. And then I bring down the rest of the problem. Then I'm going to multiply and divide from left to right. Well, I only have one operation left, so I'm just going to multiply 5 times 16, which is 80. So there is my first problem. Now let's look at the second problem. It's got a few more steps. So the first step, I'm going to do again my parentheses. And I do have a set of parentheses, so whatever operation is in the parentheses, I complete that first. So 3 plus 6 is 9, and I bring down my exponent, and I bring down the rest of my problem. Now I'm going to complete my exponent second. So I have an exponent, 9 squared is 9 times 9, which is 81. And I bring down the rest of my problem. Now this is the tricky part. I'm going to multiply and divide, but I'm going to do, do these operations from left to right. I have a division and I have a multiplication, but I always work them left to right. So I'm going to divide